guy there. This is walking and talking. And now I want to talk about improvisation. Uh, during this week, I've studied the subject and uh, found lots of interesting thoughts and materials. Read an article on Wikipedia, wrote a couple of papers, and now it seems I'm <laughs> familiar with the topic much better than it was at the beginning of this week. And uh, well, now I want to see how it works. First of all, what I'm gonna start with is uh, the difference between improvisation when you do it alone and uh, when you do it in a group of people. Because, you know, when you talk to yourself, you're basically thinking and caring about not the effect, not the result, but about what you really are saying. Whereas when there's a group of people, you may care and be focused on what they are thinking about what you are saying. And then all the time it makes like real trouble. Because when you are thinking about some, some, somebody else and their, their you know, way how they evaluate you, your speech, it makes things much worse. Whereas when you think about something that that is going on in your own mind and when you are focused on something real, something important for you, when you are totally present, it makes everything much better and you don't, you know, you are uh, saying less you know, unrelated things because it's pretty destructive when you start talking, for example, to somebody or to the group and you see that you know, some people are, are unhappy about what you are saying. They have a, like some terrible faces. And <laughs> yeah, some of them just you know don't look at you. Some of them probably you know look in their phones and find something in their phones, especially if it's a big group of people. Yeah, and you're trying to express yourself, and you see that it doesn't make any impact on the group. It just you know, makes everybody feel uh, embarrassed and brings lots of awkwardness. But when you're focused, yeah, and you just become distracted, uh, distracted because well, it's like you're trying to come up with an idea and especially if you are doing an improvisation, it's it's too hard because you see that it doesn't work and it makes things even more terrible but when you talk to yourself and basically in a group you also may change the perspective and think about whatever you are saying as if you are saying it to yourself not to the group or maybe you may choose somebody and focus on him and make some sort of you know conversation with a person and if you are talking to the group you are actually never talking to the group because you always tell something to one person or another and it's really interesting to try to make long eye contacts with different people not just looking at everybody like all the time uh, changing your eye contact with different people and it's like you look at one person for uh, you know for for as much as you can for as long as you can then you look at the other person and you try to maintain a long eye contact instead of just uh, you know looking at one person for a second and another second you look at somebody else it makes it makes your speech even more destructive and your improvisation yeah, it certainly becomes weaker but again, so, you may also imagine that it's some sort of, you know, self-talk when you talk to the group. What you need to do is like to be present, to understand what's going on in your mind and to express it. So the whole point is the art of self-expression. So instead of worrying about whether it makes sense, what you are saying, or whether it's important or unimportant, how other people are going to you know, are going to perceive it. You are caring only about 
like <laughs> what's going on in your mind and about the expression about the way how you saying it so it's like you imagine you are playing a game and you are just you know, you're not focused on the result you're not focused on you know, the actions of your character and your speech you also may consider your speech and your improvisation as a some sort of character and your job is just to <laughs> you know to see to see and to control this character so that it may move to the next point to the next level without being you know killed by <laughs> some monsters yeah and usually again when you talk to the group it's really when you again when you have something to say it's kind of easier so you know the subject and what you need to do is just to repeat what you already know but whatever it is maybe a story which you you know which you know well and your point is just to describe the story or it may be some prepared speech or whatever it may be it doesn't matter but when there's an, an improvisation when you don't know what to say but you need to talk when well there's no no time when there's a perfect improvisation it's almost impossible but uh, there I think sometimes you talk to people and you see that like you have something to say but you run out of things so quickly and then you need to improvise to continue the dialogue or whatever other reasons there may be okay or you just learn language <laughs> and your job is simply to you know to use different words arrange them in a structure so that it makes sense and see you know how can you do it better and better and better so eventually you are you know, <laughs> there's a some sort of perfect improvisation you are able to talk all the time no matter what's going on and uh, yeah that's basically what you need to do <laughs> when you learn improvisation but it doesn't work perfectly all the time that's the big problem because depends on your mood depends on how well you choose the topic because sometimes for example let's suppose that you are feel sad and you choose something funny and you try you are trying to be funny whereas your inner feeling uh, doesn't resonate with your subject with your theme and then of course it's not a good result and it's also the bad process because you start talking and you don't feel what you're saying and uh, otherwise for example you may start you may be really sad and you <laughs> start talking about you know whatever makes you sad and then then you probably won't you know, make a good ex <laughs> impression on somebody else but the point is you will be like in the flow you will be able to express yourself much better in the same when you feel funny when you feel you know excited about something and you just share this emotion so it's really important to pick up a suitable theme suitable th topic before you start talking but like for me now for example i'm working on in improvisation and it's a theme and i can't change it because i uh, choose it at the beginning of the week and i decided you know, to make it a theme for a speaking club and therefore i need to prepare i need to talk only about an improvisation well at least it's some kind of standards which i uh, try to follow so it's like choosing a theme talking about the day and sometimes i may i may feel really exhausted well improvisation with an improvisation it's not the case because you can always you know use it for uh, different topics so it's like an improvisation is not a topic at all it's just you know a way how you how you whatever <laughs> doing things so you are not prepared it's not formal you just uh, become present and you know share whatever it is here right now at this particular moment but if you for example are let's say that you're in a state when you don't want to talk and you still push yourself to do that because oh well, again somehow you defined your standards and 
you decided that you are gonna do it at least once a week or a few times a week and uh, you just can't you know can't find uh, an excuse yeah and you and you still doesn't feel you still don't feel that you are uh, ready to do that and you still must do that and it makes things a little bit worse because hey, it's something that I feel right now so I feel that I can't find something really interesting to say and still I need to continue talking and uh, it doesn't feel uh, natural it feels uh, really unnatural but uh, I don't care too much because I know that if for example I just the process just uh, since I'm doing it right now I don't care about the result because if it's if there is a good result I can publish it if not I can just delete the video and, you know, and basically that's what I'm doing <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, it's like I, I delete the video, I don't care about what I said, and uh, you, even though I, I haven't said anything important, it helped me to figure out what's going on in my brain, in my mind, at this particular moment. It helped me to prepare a little bit for a further conversation. So now I'm ready to, you know, to communicate with other people because now my brain works a little bit better than it was at the beginning and also for uh, of course I can just do uh, several attempts as I said uh, a few days ago when I recorded the previous video there was two videos and at first it was also awkward and difficult but then I realized that there is something interesting what I can say and the second video was much better and uh, then I thought, well, I can record like five, ten videos. And well, it's also you need to find a balance because sometimes you think, okay, like the first video is like a preparation, so you may even delete it and don't care about you know, whatever you say here. But the second, it's no, it's like first round. So in the third, well, I mean, if you record five, ten videos, it may be may exhaust you and you may you may become tired and then you don't have energy to continue talking for further so there should be like you need to you need to understand that if you have a certain amount of energy that, let's say you may talk for an hour and first 20 minutes is just a preparation just a warming up and next 40 minutes is like the essence so whatever you're gonna say these 30 minutes it is something really important and good and even if it's not, you still you know, feel good about it when you are saying it. So the point is that instead of wasting this, like now, for example, I'm coming to speaking club, and I know that I can record like three videos, like this one and probably two more. But instead of, but I know also that if I record three videos, I will be exhausted after that, and probably it will, you know, make me a little bit. A little bit more confused at speaking club so it's better to record just one video and you know it's like be be warmed up so that the next uh, moment when I need to speak I'm already ready <laughs> it's like a fight so you <laughs> you don't uh, waste your all energy for uh, warming up you just prepare and then you are going to do so it's 14 minutes it's a good preparation I certainly won't publish it because it's awkward <laughs> I don't like the damn results well I, I, I can publish it but I can you know leave it closed but I, or I can say I can you know leave it as it is it's also some sort of mindset which I have and makes me <laughs> so it's super 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 it seems I repeat this word a lot so it's really interesting when you just uh, publish everything what you say so it makes you you know really more serious about every video because when you allow yourself to you know to delete a video you become less you become careless basically but 
when you publish everything, <laughs> your brain just automatically thinks, uh, well, it just find, finds better way for self-expressions all the time. Because you know that there's no way to, you know, to escape shame and whatever. <laughs> you know, if I'm gonna say something, it should be something meaningful and interesting. And I need to find the content, and I shouldn't. You know, it's kind of training, so every time you get better and better. But if you delete, you may, you know, you may make a good video, but then you lose this process stuff, so. <laughs> You may have a good result once a week, but the process becomes terrible and you are not satisfied with yourself. Whereas when you uh, get rid of all judgments and say, okay, it doesn't matter, it's me, whatever I say, and it's cool, even if it's stupid sometimes, that's okay. I can be stupid. <laughs> Why not? If I am, what's the problem? Okay, I think I have to finish here.